Greetings to the students in the New Testament interpretation class here at Southeastern University. This is your instructor, Dr. Larry Asplund, coming to you at the very first day of our eight-week intensive. It has been such a joy to meet you online already. Those of you who have introduced yourself to the class, if you haven't had a chance to do so yet, be sure to right away, since this is very much a collaborative group learning experience. So, Welcome to week one, to module one here in the fall 2021 semester. The module one theme is introductions and background. So we're going to get started to see the overall context historically, culturally, etc. of the New Testament and do some introductions by way of the Gospel of Matthew. The module one aim, first of all, in, includes a very excellent course overview that you will want to look at. It summarizes for us so well the course uh, in this term. And then there are some very important learning objectives. Generally, they are, first of all, the historical setting of the New Testament. Second of all, the world of Jesus in his Jewish homeland. And third, sources for the story of Jesus. Of course, when you go online, you will see these unpacked very specifically. But, you know, it's important for us to realize that Jesus lived in a very a distinct time and place. And so the context of that original uh, occurrence of Jesus coming to earth, the Son of God becoming man, etc., ministering, teaching, in a context that we can know, that we can study. And so we're going to jump into it and begin that, that study this week. In terms of the Learn section of Module 1, there are several resources for you this week that are very, very excellent. First of all, uh, we want you to read chapters 2, 3, and 5 in our great textbook. Uh, and also, we want you to read the Gospel of Matthew. So I think it's good for us to be reading in the New Testament itself this week. By the way, it's possible to use your Bible app if you want and listen to a reading of the Gospel of Matthew. That works as well. And then we have several great videos, short videos. We have a video from Dr. Waddell called Historical and Social Backgrounds of the New Testament. Very, very important for, for Module 1. A couple of Bible Project videos on the first half of Matthew and the second half of Matthew. Uh, an important uh, set of lists when it comes to key locations, people, and points. It kind of points out for us the specifics of what we are learning together in Module 1 to draw attention to them. So very, very important when it comes to our assignments. And then, of course, there's a group of supplemental resources as well. There's an embedded kind of a website, really, under the Learn section of Module 1 that will take you through all of these uh, in order. Then, of course, there are assignments. Module 1 has that apply section that tells us the work that we need to be doing. So there is, as usual, a discussion. And so you are being asked to write a 75 to 100 word response to each of three questions. So the background questions, they're reflection questions. So it's an opportunity for you to think out loud and also to be able to think together. Uh, as you know, when it comes to discussions, your initial post is due by the end of the day on Saturday and then respond to at least two other students by the end of the day next Tuesday. Uh, there's the pretest that I mentioned to you in the introductory video. The pretest is coming up here in Module 1. It is, it is a 50 multiple choice question test. Remember that you will receive a score, but it does not affect your grade. So, it's not going to be calculated when it comes to your final grade. At the very end of the class, there'll be a post-test, and you'll receive a couple of points, uh, five points, I think, for it, not based on your score, but just based on taking the test. And so, as you'll remember, this is an assessment that's valuable to those who develop the course to kind of be able to assess, you know, what we knew, what we knew at the beginning and whether or not we knew any more at the end. Uh, then there's going to be the reading application response form, which uh, has a link to a downloadable Microsoft Word document. And you will be asked to write 100 to 150 word responses to three different items that are relevant to your readings this week. And then, of course, the, the essay. You have an essay this week. 
uh, on cultural context, ancient and modern, a 300 to 500 word essay, think, you know, one to one and a half pages or so uh, that's due also on Tuesday. At the end of the day on Tuesday, next Tuesday, of course, is the end of this first module. Now, by the way, there's a rubric available at the assignment uh, site for the essay. You'll definitely want to uh, take a look at, if not download that rubric so you can have it in front of you. It will be the basis ultimately for my grading of your essay. And then there's a short wrap-up, kind of a concluding section that uh, just uh, puts a, a ribbon on top of module one for us here in our first week. You know, I just, we love the scriptures, of course. We love the New Testament. So being able to have a wonderful introductory approach to the New Testament, get our, our brains around its original context, which helps us to see more clearly the message. Once we see the message, you know, in its context, then that helps us to more accurately apply it to our own situation. So what a great way to begin this class. I know you will enjoy it tr tremendously. I'm looking forward to continuing to greet you as you jump in and introduce yourself to the class. And then later on in the week, I'm going to jump into our introduction as well and just learn with you and participate with you. It's going to be a great week. So never hesitate to let me know if you have a question. Let me know how I may serve you. It is my honor to do so. And you will be in my prayers this coming week. God bless you, everybody. Just have a great week one.